What's up, guys? Here, just chilling in the backyard. Um, <clears throat> I want to give you guys. <laughs> oh man, uh, this is this is definitely dark game. Um, guys, don't do this if you don't have to. But I understand some guys are just really uh, they really want that revenge. Um. It's vampire hours and the vampires wake up. <laughs> um, but I know a lot of times some guys want to get revenge on a girl that did them dirty. Um, but this is the way to do it. And when you do this, there's no coming back from this. Yeah, well, yeah, there's usually no coming back from this. Like You can do something a little less, but and a girl can come back from it. But there's usually no coming back from this, you know. So... <sighs> You got a girl that did you dirty and she did something that you really that really uh you really didn't like only you can know what that is and i did this i used to do this when i was younger a little younger not too much younger maybe four or five years ago <sighs> so a girl uh the girl's playing games she stood me up on a date um and i was trying to like stick it out to get her back so i can like at least fuck her and stop talking to her but I can see that she was leading, stringing me on, but I knew she was real superficial. She was one of those girls that want a guy to pay for everything. I'm like, cool, you know what, that's fine. Here, I got you. So I knew she she liked certain things. So what I did was, I was like, all right, cool. We're gonna, um, we're gonna go to this place. Uh, it was, a, I forget, I think it was, I think it was Nobu, Nobu in Manhattan. And I was like, let's go to Nobu. I want you to dress real nice. I want you to meet me there. I made reservations. Uh, I think I was like somewhere like 7, 8, 30, some shit like that. This was years ago. And I'm at home. No, matter of fact, I was at home and then I had a date set up. So I was going on a date and um, I made this girl go all the way to the city. I made her go all the way to Nobu, right? And she's like, where are you at? I'm here. I was like, oh, give me a few minutes. I'm just parking, mind you. At that point, I'm posting myself on the date on my story because um, she's going to see it eventually. Uh, but she's there. She's waiting there. And then like maybe 20 minutes past that, she called me and I'm like, hey, what's up? Um, I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> I actually she actually called me a few times and I um. I got up and then I went to the bathroom and then she called me and was like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm down a block. It was just, I mean, we're in the city, you know, it's hard as fuck to find parking. So I was like, I just had to pay for parking. And then after that, uh, she called me another 15 minutes later and she's been waiting like for like maybe fucking 30, 40 minutes now. And I just stopped answering. And then she texted me. She was like, you're an asshole. I see that your name's not even on the reservation. You didn't put anybody's name on the reservation. My name, nothing. So I made this bitch come all. And she and she lived in the suburbs. So she came all the way to the city just to go on a fictitious date that I set up. And I never fucking talked to her again. And she saw my story and saw that I was on a date with another girl. That's dark. That's how you get a bitch back. That's how you get them back. She still looks at my story to this day. I finesse that. So girls are psychotic. They're psychotic. I tell you this, she'll never forget me though. <laughs>